And we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. As we gather here this morning as God's family, with confidence we call upon our Heavenly Father, knowing of His mercy and of His compassion. Lord, you came that we might have life and live it to its fullness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to be a visible sign of your love. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you will come again in all your glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O oh God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the Paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people, so that Christ, our High Priest, interceding on our behalf, may body like his likeness to ourselves, bring us reconciliation, and by his equality with you, free us from our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name. <clears throat> Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, so you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. Be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, He rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, He saves. Many are the troubles of the just man. But out of them all, the Lord delivers him. The Lord hears the cry of the world. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen, but still believe. Alleluia, alleluia. reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to you, Lord. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. The one who comes from heaven is above all. 
He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We continue to hear about the apostles in the beginnings of our church. And I was reflecting on the idea that they locked themselves away in an upper room out of fear. Certainly can understand that. Certainly can understand that everything that they believed in, everything that they had hoped in, had disappeared. This person that they believed in and followed had just been crucified and had died. Now what? As the human nature, they all ran away up into a lock themselves away out of fear, out of confusion, and out of doubt. But the story goes on. The journey goes on. And slowly but surely, the apostles come to grasp the reality of what truly has taken place, the resurrection. And today we hear them can't help to spread the news of Jesus Christ around Jerusalem. So much so that the leaders are getting angry and frustrated. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey. So even in our doubts and our fears and our desire to lock ourselves away, we need to ask ourselves, are we truly open to the Spirit in our life? How are we manifesting the presence of God's Spirit in our lives? Are we willing to go forth and to slowly but surely encourage each other to do the same, to spread the good news of Jesus Christ, that we are people who live in a way that says there is indeed an empty tomb, that through our actions and our words we can inspire each other to do the same. But the apostles who had Jesus right there in the midst took some time to do it. We find ourselves in this Easter season and speak in his name that we can't help but spread the news of Jesus Christ's resurrection right here in Santa Clara. And I invite you to sing. And together now we make known our needs and our desires for our loving and compassionate Father. We pray for our church, for our Holy Father, our bishops, and all the women and men who serve in the name of Jesus Christ. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Glory to God. Pray for lasting peace and justice throughout our world, and to war, terrorism, and racism. That Christ's farewell gift of peace may reign within our hearts, our homes, and in our community. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Glory to God. Let us pray that we may be open to the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives, asking for a transformation of our actions, our words, our deeds, that we may help others come to know Jesus. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord we continue to pray for an end to the pandemic. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord pray for all those who are sick, hospitalized, and homebound, and all the doctors, nurses, and family members entrusted with their care. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord pray for all those who have died, those who will die today, and particularly those who will die alone. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and let us take a moment and silently pray for our own intentions. And for all our intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we make known to you our needs and our desires. Those we speak aloud and those we speak in the silence of our hearts. We ask that you grant them, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received this bread that we have. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It's what we come for us, the blood of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received this wine that we have. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. May our prayers rise up to you, Lord, together with the sacrificial offering, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time of all to lodge you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life. The halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death. And in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with all the angelic hosts join together on the end ending hymn of your glory, as we now acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the people, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it. Gave it to his disciples, saying, Take all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. And let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Oscar, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And together now, let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave, my peace I give. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of that peace. Mm -hmm. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And I invite you to be seated. As is our custom, we'll begin with this section going back to the back there. Louise will lead you forward. Um, sanitizing your hands, extending your hands, coming to the spot, blue, the blue spot there, demasking, consuming, and remasking on the spot, returning back to your seats along this way. The body of The body of The body. The body. The body. The body.
the buyer. 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 And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life and the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our master this morning has come to us, and may we go in peace to love and to serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Father.